Hello everyone, today we're doing some more Illumian Legacy PvP, and today we are showcasing Ill Will Medito. So, on my Quick Pounce Medito video, I had someone in the comments tell me to use Ill Will. So, yeah, I'm going to be using the Ill Will Toad today, and I'm pretty excited because I got farther. And looking at this guy's team, there is a lot of melee attackers I can take out. I could take out Wrestling, I could take out Dorgo, Your Soul. So this looks a very good battle for Ill Will Toad. So I'm going to bring that. I don't have anything for... Oh, no, I do have something for Goblin I have this thing. Dorgo and Barbs is scary. And there's a Your Soul. Yeah, this is an iffy battle. I am going to bring... Do I bring Your Snack? Is Your Snack a good bring? Your Snack... Is Your Snack a good bring here? It could be. Plus, there's a Santa Mars. Which, what do I do against Santa Mars? I'm going to do this. I'm going to leave with my... He leaves a door go. I'm with the clip. So... If he places barbs... Actually, if he places barbs, that might actually be perfect. That might be perfect if he places barbs. Because... I can get my volcanic... Gap. I can get my... Ill will right away. It would suck for the rest of my team, of course. But... But... One layer of poison is basically just a burn. So, it might actually be okay if he does play Bard now. We'll see. Nope, he swaps. Thunder swaps out. He goes into Cinemars. Okay, that makes sense. Cinemars comes in. Here we go. That's a nice damage. I'm going to go into my... Hmm, I have no swap ends. I have no swap ends. Who do I go into? Actually, I'm going to go into your snack. Your snack has tank, which I can utilize. He does have hay speed, which is scary. Now, what do I do? If he has talent trade, it'll be iffy. Let's see. Okay, that's definitely 100% hay speed. I'm going to go for a slap down, I think. Get rid of this guy's item. And then I'm going to baffle into... He actually... He actually... I outsped his. And he sharpens. Uh, that's scary. That's very scary. I'm just going to baffle. I'm just going to baffle then. Baffle. Lower his speed. We'll go into our... I have no swap in. I'm going to go into Vesperado. I just want to get rid of the item. Okay, at least he's having shield gone. He goes for Rejuvenate this turn. Okay. His item's now gone. I'm going to go for a Phantom Slash just to do as much as I can. I can probably live one Earthquake, so I'm going to rely on that. But now since Cinemars' Heavy Shield is down, I can actually... How much will this do? Oh. 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 That's, that's iffy. That's iffy. I think I'm just going to Slash again just to do as much as I can. Because, yeah, I am running the Essence. Yeah, he's going to try to use Rejuvenate. This Cinemars could potentially sweep me. He has to swap out, or otherwise he's risking his Cinemars to go down. Although then again, it's probably no worth keeping his Cinemars in now. Now that it's at low health. Although it could use it as a sacrifice in the future. That's a possibility. I'm going to see how I can get my Ill Will Metatone on the field. I think the way I can get it on the field is if he brought Wrestling. If he brought Wrestling, I could probably bring my mean toad on the field. So yeah, that's the thing that would be very good. If I predicted the Cinemars coming in, and then I gave him the head, and then if I gave him the Volcanic Ashes, he's probably going to go into Dorigo, actually. Which, that would actually be fine. I can go back into my Teclips. And, yeah. Thunder's really thinking about this play. Let's see what he does. I think he's thinking about either rejuvenating or swapping out to Dorgo. Those are his two plays. I, if I were him, I would go into Dorgo. Because Dorgo is very good in this situation. He does. Yep, he does go into Dorgo. Which, how much will this do? Okay, it did, it did meh. It did meh damage. I'm going to go into my T-Clip. Yeah, we're going to go to our Teclips. Teclips is the only thing I have for the door go. 
Yep, it's the only thing I have for this thing. Places barbs. That's fine. Barbs is honestly not even that bad for me. I'm gonna go for a Gamma Pulse. Because if his Centimars comes back in, his Centimars might just go down. If he brings Centimars back in. He goes into the guard drone, which I should have just used the other move. Hey! Oh, it's hell. Oh, it's amulet. It's an amulet one. Uh, and I didn't bring Chartiki. I got barbs. I got, I got, I got something to get rid of it. I got something to get rid of barbs. I got Venolin, so we're good. I brought Venolin because I brought, I brought your snack, so I can use Baffle. So that's why I brought Venolin. I'm gonna use Mud Splatter just to do as much as I can. Plus, lower something speed. Unless it's the Santamars, which actually, yeah, Santamars could come in now. Let's see. If he does, your soul. I got, my best is low. Free damage. We're going to go into our Eclipse again. We're going to go into our Eclipse, and then this time we're going to predict and go into Metatoad and try to get a Baffle on something. Not a baffle. I mean a. I mean a other play. Oh, <laughs> y'all know what I mean. A. He does forget. He does go for the quick punch. I'm gonna predict him to go into something else, and I'm gonna get my volcanic ashes, and then I'm gonna get my. And then, I would get my. Barter. I'm gonna barter it away. So I'm gonna barter my volcanic ashes to whatever comes in next. That's the play. Is this going to be down on what play Thunder does here? He's either going to... Honestly, he might just stay in. He might just stay in on the Eclipse predicting. B to swap. Nope, he doesn't. He goes into Centimars again. He does go into the Centimars, which is fine. Because I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you Volcanic Ashes. There we go. There's your Volcanic Ashes, my friend. Perfect. I like that. That was a great play. I like that. Now, he, now, he won't do that much more damage anymore. So that is awesome for me. I'm going to go for Ill Will just to do as much as I can. Some specialization. I don't even think he one-shots me from here. So that's very big, getting to Centimars. So, let's see how much this does to a Centimars. I'm not sure, because this is the first time ever using Ill Will Toad. He swaps. Who does he go into? Your soul? Dorgo. How much will this do? Oh, I got a critical hit! I did not know if that one sh that would have one-shot it or not. But, man, that Dorgo got completely demolished. By pure skill. I'm kidding. That was uh, probably luck. I'm going to look at the end of this battle to see if that crit mattered or not. I'm going to go back into the clips because, yeah, that's scary. So I feel like he's going to click a spirit or dark move. I don't think he's going to click the brawler. Yeah, I did not think he was going to click the brawler move. I'm going to go and click Luminous Roar. Luminous Roar to... That's so I can use three of them. I can use three Gluminous Roars if I use three of those. If I use a Gamma Pulse, I can't use three Gamma Pulses, so... Centimars comes in. Yes, he does have health back, but he's burnt now. That burn is really huge for me. I might honestly just be able to get a rest here. I will rest. I am going to get a rest off. He goes for a wait. He's probably going to try to rejuvenate. Which would make sense. I mean, rejuvenated would be my play here. So I think I'm going to go for a nice first. So I feel like he's going to rejuvenate. He's going to try to keep his Centimars alive. Yep. He's trying to keep his Centimars alive. I go up to plus one. Now I should be able to hit through... Pa I should be able to hit through his rejuvenate now. Because now he has no heavy shield. He has Volcanic Ashes, so he doesn't hit me that hard. And now I'm a plus one. So this should, yep, does around half. He goes for an Earthquake. 
he missed. Yeah, Thunder's not getting any good luck in this battle, I will tell you that. Go for another Gloom Roar, try to do as much as I can. His door goes down. I'm just going to take out a Senemar, because the Senemar is very scary. There it goes. So he has your soul and two other Lumians. I'm not sure what his other two are yet. Unless I'm forgetting about them, which I could. Yeah, he has... Oh, no. He, he did bring out the Guard Drone. So, yeah, he does have a Guard Drone. His Guard Drone is currently his win condition. If he could play right with that Guard Drone, he could definitely still beat me with that Guard Drone. I'm going to have to play smart. Go for Metal Blast. All right. I really want to click Shadow Sprint so bad. I want to click Shadow Sprint so bad predicting that Ear Soul. I want to do it for that Ear Soul. I'm just going to click Baffle. I'm not going to click Rough Up because Ear Soul's scared, because Ear Soul can come in. Perfect. I click Baffle. We go into our Vesperatu, and Vesperatu can win us the game from here. So, yep. I'm just going to go for a. He might honestly just sprint me, so I'm just going to click Phantom Slash. The sprint should not be able to take me out, so I'm down with that. It doesn't. I go for Slash. Because I did have to predict the swap. Your soul's down, which is awesome. That your soul is always a very tough Lumion to go up against. If he goes into Guard Drone, the Toad can come back in. His last one's Mewtwo. I'm just going to click a slap down and just try to do as much damage to the Mewtwo as I can. And then we go back into Metatoad. There we go. There goes its Typeless Essence. It goes for Resonate. Don't get plus one. It didn't. Now we go back into Metatoad. And Metatoad should be able to win us the game from here. So yeah, it will Metatoad. Did very good in that first round. Completely knocked, completely screwed over the Cenomars. And now, Mike is going to get a KO. It's either going to KO the Guard Drone or the Mewtwo. So, yeah. Go to Raging Howl. That will do a lot of damage, but not enough to take me out. There we go. There goes the Mewtwo with Ill Will. And I think Guard Drone can actually take out Metatoad from here, unfortunately. But, you know, we're going to try to do as much as we can. Ill Will. Because we still got your snack. We got your snack in the very back. I might live that. Nope, I don't quite live that. We got your snack, though, so your snack wins us the game. He has a health amulet. We go into... we go, Oh, we even got Venelin, too. Your snack's a better play, though. And your snack's gonna get a KO, and that should be the game. Go for a rough up. Because Cardron does not have any melee defense, so... This should be the battle after two rough ups. This was a very good match for for both my Your Snack and my Metatoad. It did get a crit, unfortunately, but, you know, that's just how this goes. I get a crit back. So, it made up. GG. And we'll go on to another battle, as Uwo Metatoad did very well there. And now we're up to the second battle, and hopefully, and hopefully... My, my Ill Will Metatoad can do good here. Unfortunately, this battle does not look quite as good for Ill Will. So, I'm going to go... I'm not sure what to do here, actually. There's a rest... This is Zeppelin. And Zeppelin is very scary. And it's an Upsidra Ground. So, yeah, this is going to be a very, very, very interesting match. I'm going to bring... Do I bring your snack or do I bring Venelin? I think Venelin's a good bring. I think I'm going to lead off with Metatoad and see if I can get something right away. Actually, no, I can't because I need to get my Ashes to go off. Let's lead with this thing then. So, yeah. Oh, there's a, there's a Hunter. Your Snack or Himber? I'm debating between one of the two, but I think I am going to keep your Snack off the field. That feels weird considering there's a Hunter, but I think it's needed. Plus, I think with what I have, I can definitely take out Hunter. So, and that's what he leads with. He leads off with the Hunter. I'm going to go for, do I go for Slapdown 
Or do I go for a... He's gonna click Blaze Chomp. I think I'm just gonna go for a slap down and just do as much as I can. He goes for a Blaze Chomp. He's gonna do some nice damage. A lot more than I thought. Slap down will do a hefty chunk. And I'm gonna sprint it. So that's where I'm already off to a good start. Now the hunter's down at one shot, so that's good. Who did he go into? Obsidragon. Yeah, this thing. I'm not sure how to beat this thing. This Obsidragon is going to be kind of scary to beat. The only thing on my team that can beat Obsidragon is to clip. Now, question is, do I... You know what? I have an idea. I'm going to go into Metatode. It seems odd. I'm going to go into Metatode. And I am going to click. Yep, went body crash. And I'm going to click ill... No, no, I'm not going to click ill will. I'm going to click barter. And barter something on this team. Because I think I can live an earthquake. He does have earthquake. I can live one, I think. Perfect. And now his obsidragon is now burnt. Perfect. So now, the only way I can get rid of that... And I got the heavy shield in return. So now I can actually go back into my own to clip. And the clips can come in and scare out obsidragon. So, that's going to work out perfectly. I'm not sure if the Metatode will do anything more, but at the very least, the Obsidragon's burnt. So, I'm going to take it. Goes for an Earthquake. Didn't do anything. Now, he has Tata. I'm going to predict the Tata coming in. Because the Tata is very scary. So, let's predict the Tata coming in. Because, I don't know why, it just feels way too obvious for Tatsub to come in. Unfortunately, I do got to be very careful with Slapdown now, because Slapdown on... Oh, he has Zenolin. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that, he has Zenolin. That still did nice damage, though. I'm going to go into my... I don't want to go into my own Zenolin. I'm going to go into my Himber. I'm going to go into Himber. And click Earthquake. Although Zeppelin could also come in, which is iffy. It's very iffy. What if I splatter? That's fine. Actually, I'm just going to click Icicle Trap. There's, oh, no, he has an Ikazune. Although, I don't know. Would he have brought Ikazune? Would he bring Ikazune in this battle? I g yeah, I guess. There is a Himber and a Vesperatu, so probably. But then again, there is a Venolin, so... Maybe not. Let's see what he does, though. I'm going to place traps up, because I think this is a good time to get it up. I don't want to hit that Obsidragon. I do not want to hit that Obsidragon. Whatever it takes. He goes into Zeppelin. That's fine. Free trap. Now I think he's going to go... I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm just going to click Ice Hammer and just try to make a play. I know Ikazune could probably come in, but... I feel like Ice Hammer is the best play. Fidragon can even come in, but, you know. Yeah, I could have predicted. Yeah, I could have predicted that. But I have, I have Venom, so I should be okay. How much will this do? That still did a chunk. Yeah, Hinder hits very hard. I'm going to go into my Venom. Let's see what he does. Here we go. Fire Breath. How much will that do? This isn't all in. Okay, yeah. I like that. I think I'm going to go for a Rejuvenate here. Because I feel like he's going to go into Obsidragon. I feel like he's going to go into Obsidragon and try to get a Resilience boost. And then try to click Body Crash for a win. So, I feel like it's too obvious. I'm not going to Poison. As much as I want to Poison, I feel like it's just too obvious. If I Rejuvenate, I can get my health back. And then I can start either mud splattering or adaptive assaulting and just do as much damage as I can. I'm looking at the, it will be an 18 minute video at this point. We're having a couple long battles today. Then again, I'm using Venolin. Venolin and, ooh, when the Zeppelin? I did not expect that. That's absurd. I did not expect Zeppelin. I can't stall the Zeppelin, though. 
I cannot solve Zeppelin. I'm just going to go for Adaptive Assault and try to do as much as I can. He peace the mind. Oh, that's scary. Oh, no, that's scary. Go for Adaptive Assault. Got the poison, which is awesome. I was going to collect poison on the next turn, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Now, what move do I do next? Vesp is still very good to keep. Eclipse is really good to keep. We go into Metatoad here and just kind of throw it off. Let's do that. I don't really need I don't really need the Metatoad, so I'm gonna go into it now. It would be amazing if he sets up peace of mind again. Nope, we went for Splatter. Rip, rip the Metatoad. Now what will we do? I don't want to go into Himburst. I do not want to go into Himber, because I really do need it for that Ventolin. So Vesperati is coming in. I'm going to click Shadow Sprint. Shadow Sprint. Will that take out Ventolin? Let's see. It does. So, not Ventolin. Zeppelin. Zeppelin goes down. This Hunter can come in. It can Zune comes in, actually. Gets rid of all the traps. This is just an easy slap down for me. Then again, i got to be careful. Nope, that should take out a Kazumi. Unless he doesn't have an item, which he does. He has Fire Essence. Very, very nice. So, he has a Sidragon, Ventolin, and Hunter left. Hunter, who's at, like, no health. So, the biggest threat left is that of Sidragon and Ventolin. Those are the two threats which are left. So, let's see what he does here. Honestly, I see him going into Ventolin first, then bait the Slapdown and go to up Sidragon, and then he's going to Slumber. That's what I would do here. I know that's quite risky, but that's his only shot to bring up Citragon back into this battle. Because I know Citragon's tanky. It can tank pretty much all my melee hits. The only thing that can damage his Citragon is my... What is it called? My Eclipse. Yeah. Uh, I do not want to click Sprint. I do not want to click Shadow Sprint. I 100% feel like he's going to go to Obsidragon. I'm going to do it, though. I'm trapped. I'm just going to do it. I know he could swap out. Yeah, he's going to go back into Obsidragon. Yeah. That was just intense. I'm all right with that, though. It could be way worse. I'm all right with that. Because his Obsidragon's still burned. I'm not sure if Body Crash affects his burn. That would be very interesting to see if it actually affects with a burn. We're going to go into the clips now. We're going to go into the clips. Let's see if it actually affects with the burn or not. My crash does get affected by a burn. Perfect. It does get affected. I'm going to go for a Gluminous Row this time because now I know he does not have the top up. He's going to go into Ventolin again. Free damage on the Ventolin. I did a lot, actually. I'm just going to stay in. Yeah, there's no reason. Why not to just stay in here? There's no reason. Just stay in here. I definitely live a hit. He might just rejuvenate, honestly. Yep, does go for the rejuvenate. I only have one Gloom Roar left. Yeah, I only have one Gloom Roar. Let's go into our... No, I don't want to go into ours. That's Baradu. This is, this is ballsy. So I'm going to do it. This could be the game right here. He attacked. I lived. Don't poison. Oh, we're just going to slap down. We're just going to slap down. Obsidragon will come in, I think. That does get rid of his hashes. But it should get him at low enough health for my Eclipse to win the match. So there goes his volcanic ashes. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna slumber on this turn. So I'm gonna go into the clips. There we go. The clips is in. Yep, there goes the beast slumber. I get a free rest basically. I basically just get a free rest. That's basically what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna rest, and then I'm gonna go into my Himber. Go into my Himber and try to beat his Last Lumion. He stays in. Okay. I guess he's like, yeah. He probably does have range 
defense investment on. I'm going to attack it. That should do a lot of damage. Oh, it does amazing damage. And next turn he wakes up to... He, next turn he wakes up, so... Is that enough health to bring him down by? I think that's enough health. Even Then even if it isn't, I still got Himber. Himber and Quick Punch should take him out. Maybe. Maybe. He might just swap. He does. Okay, he swapped. That's fine. Fendlin comes back in. He's gonna play it safe. Himber, you're coming in. He's gonna play it safe with you. No reason to risk it. Goes for another rejuvenate. He's almost out of energy. Ice. I'm gonna go for icicle traps. Icicle traps, because there's no reason for me to attack. Because it's a guarantee of Sidragon coming. Yep. Back in. Free traps. And we're going to go into Vest this time. Because I want up Sidragon to click. Because I want up Sidragon to click Primal. I'm basically just telling. Click Primal Slash, basically. Because if he can Primal Slash me, I have a shot. Nope, Click or Quick. That's a very safe play, actually. I like that. Now, the Clips can come in. I two-shot Venolin. Oh, I probably one-shot it just from there, then. I think the Clips wins me the game here. Ill Will Medito didn't do too much in the second battle, but it did what it needed to do for the Upsidragon. Which is... Just is it good enough for me? There goes his Venolin. Oh, actually, he's still at like full health. Or, I forgot about that. He's still at very high health. He could still come back from this. Okay. I'm just going to attack twice in a row. I'm not going to rest. Because if his Venolin's off the field, his Venolin being off the field is more important. I could just wait on the upside of Gone. Because I can live a body crash. So, yeah. I could just wait. And if he be slumber, I win. If he be slumber, I win. If he doesn't, if he attacks me, then there's still a shot. That's basically what this is down to. I can get a wait. I forgot about the hunter. Wow, I absolutely forgot about the hunter. Well, we're going into you then. I completely forgot about the Hunter. Oops. Yeah. Forgot about the Hunter. We'll go for a poison in case he swaps. He stays, Mega Chomp. Ouch. I live, I flinched. Very, very unfortunate. We'll poison in case he swaps out. Get the place, Chomp. I'm not swapping. I'm not swapping. There's no reason to. I'm going to go for an Earthquake. In case of Sidragon comes back in. Earthquake in case of Sidragon comes back in. This is the play of the game. Yeah, I completely forgot about the Hunter. There he is. There is the Obsidragon. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I can do this. Is that enough? He might just rest. Let's go into the clip. He might just be slumber. If he be slumber, it's a shot. Depends if he be slumber. He crashed. Wow, he actually did it. I think he won. I think he won the match. I'm going to go for a rest in case he slumbers. He'll be out of energy. Although he will be out of energy. Hey, he's out of energy. It's not over. He's out of energy. He's out of energy. I'm going to Earthquake. He waits out a turn. Do I take him out from here? Basically, log on to this. Okay. Now I got to live a Blaze Chomp, basically. I basically got to live a Blaze Chomp. So I go for a wait, and then I quick punch, and then that will be the victory. Unless he crits me, which that could happen, too. That could actually happen. Do I flail? There's no reason to. 
There's no reason to flail. We just wait. Then we quick punch. Don't burn me. Don't burn me. Don't crit me. It didn't. And now we're going to go for a quick punch. And that should be the match. Wait, does he... Is his Venolin still alive? Is his Venolin still alive? I don't think so. I think that's it. Let's see. Is that it? Oh! That was insane. That might be one of the closest battles I've ever had. That was amazing. Good job. That was a very good battle. Now, it will Metatoad. Did pretty solid today against the first guy, but against the second guy, it it slowed down the Obsidragon, but that by but, but that's all it. I hope you all guys enjoyed this video and I will see y'all all later. Bye bye.